Okay, we're gonna talk about batteries in this video. Now there's all kinds of laptop batteries and most of the time they're very specific to the brand that you buy. If you bought an HP, there's only one battery that could fit in there and you either have to buy an HP or an HP clone. Now there's not too many things that actually go wrong with batteries, so this is gonna be a pretty short video. Let's start by talking about how you can tell if you need to replace a battery or not. Now one way to test this is to go into the power options mode in your computer. And you can get to that in Windows through the control panel, power options, and then click on the battery tab and look at what's happening with the battery. It'll tell you if it's charging, if it's not charging, or how much charge is in the battery. Now if the battery is not charging, let's try to rule out some other things first. Like it could be a bad power adapter, a bad AC adapter. So if somebody's using an AC adapter that didn't come with that computer, it might not be putting out enough amps or enough wattage to actually charge the battery, and I've seen Dells do this. For example, I've seen power adapters that appear to be correct for Dell computers, but they're a little small actually, and they don't put out the correct amperage. They put out too low of a current, and therefore, though the adapter powers on the Dell computer, it won't charge the battery, and usually you'll get an error message when you boot up with that using that power adapter on a Dell anyway. Now incidentally, you're going to see a lot of AC adapters rated according to wattage. Wattage is simply voltage times the current, or amps. So that formula, V times I, gives you wattage. Let's go through an example here of how you can check if the power adapter is correct for the computer you're working on. We've got a compact laptop here that's not charging. The power adapter is plugged in, and you can see by that lightning bolt it's not charging. Now here's the power adapter we're using. Take note of the second line down there where it says 19 volts green, 4.74 amps max. Now ignore the line above it that says 16 volts. This is a universal power adapter from Kensington and a lot of the universal ones can put out multiple voltage, but the switch on this one we have set for the 19 volts DC and 4.74 amps max. Now we know what this adapter puts out power wise. Now let's check to see what the correct power adapter is for this compact laptop. And I like to check this on eBay because in the eBay descriptions, it usually tells you what the voltage and the amps are for the power adapter you're trying to buy. Okay, so just go to eBay and do a search for whatever the laptop model is, compact M2000 adapter. It's gonna bring up a long list of results. And we're just gonna pick the first one, it looks good. Now we're going to scroll down in this listing and take a look. And we see that this adapter puts out 18.5 volts, 3.5 amps. Okay, let's get a second opinion here. Just go to the next one down and see what voltage and amps this is putting out. And this one, again, is 18.5 volts, 3.5 amps, which equals 65 watts. You'll find if you multiply 18.5 times 3.5, you get 65 and that is that formula I showed you earlier. Now, the reason I checked two vendors is because in case one of them made a mistake and they, they weren't selling the right adapter for the right computer, um, that's why I just checked twice to make sure we're getting the right numbers here. And that's a pretty reliable way of finding out what kind of power adapter that a computer needs just by checking the eBay listings there. Now, there's one more thing about power adapters I just want to bring up real quick. The amps on an adapter that you buy that, like for example, that one put out 3.5 amps. Power adapters, you could buy one that puts out 100 amps 